Litany of Gratitude After the COVID Pandemic. Let us approach the Lord who makes all things new for all the blessings and graces we receive during the COVID pandemic. After every petition, let us say together, Thanks be to God. Thanks be to God. For reminding us of the fragility of life, shielding us when no one else dared to shelter us, and opening our minds to what is really essential, let us thank the Lord. Thanks be to God. For allowing us to connect with one another with faith and love, Despite the isolation that sickness had imposed on us, let us thank the Lord. Thanks be to God. For the heroic kindness of those who provided us with scientific, social, and spiritual help when doing so was both risky and life-threatening for them, let us thank the Lord. Thanks be to God. For the gift of newly discovered medicines and vaccines to combat the virus, and the wonder of natural immunity, let us thank the Lord. Thanks be to God. For the gift of assuring presence when we were anxious and distressed, depressed and lonely and impatient during the pandemic, let us thank the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let us pray. Loving God, no thought of ours is unknown to you. No tear we shed is unimportant to you. No joy we celebrate is alien to you. You entered our world of sickness, suffering, and death, and you know the fears we face. Accept our thanksgiving for your provident love during the COVID pandemic. As you wept at the death of Lazarus, breathe the breath of life everlasting on all those who died from the coronavirus. You have turned our fears into joy. And for this, we thank and praise you. To you be glory, now and forever. Mary, help of Christians, pray for us. Saint Michael the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. Good morning, brothers and sisters. Please stand as we begin our Eucharistic celebration. <laughs> We begin in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, today the Church celebrates the feasts of Saints Philip and James, two of the Apostles of the Lord. In the inner circle of the Lord, there are two James. The first is the cousin of the Lord James the Greater, whose uh, feast we celebrate on July 25. The second James is the one we are celebrating today. Not much is known about James the less, but even then, we know that he was a disciple of Jesus who offered himself to the Lord as martyr for the faith. Philip, on the other hand, uh, was told, was, uh, is told to be 
a preacher in Greece, and also like James, died a martyr. In the Gospel of today, we will hear uh, the conversation between Jesus and Philip. Let us ask the intercession of these two saints. Let us uh, ask their prayers that we too may always be ready to profess our faith even in the midst of persecution. To prepare ourselves to celebrate these mysteries, let us humbly ask God's pardon and mercy. Lord Jesus, you came to gather the nations into the peace of God's kingdom. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you come in word and sacrament to strengthen us in holiness. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you will come again in glory with salvation for your people. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and, and on, on earth peace to people, people of, of goodwill. Good we praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit and the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who gladden us each year with the feast day of the Apostles Philip and James, grant us through their prayers a share in the passion and resurrection of your only begotten Son, so that we may merit to behold you for eternity. To our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. I am reminding you, brothers and sisters, of the gospel I preached to you, which you indeed received, and in which you also stand. Through it, you are also being saved, if you hold fast to the word I preached to you, unless you believed in vain. For I handed on to you as of first importance what I also received, that Christ died for our sins in accordance with the scriptures, that he was buried, that he was raised on the third day in accordance with the scriptures, that he appeared to Cephas, then to the twelve. After that, he appeared to more than 500 brothers and sisters at once, most of whom are still living though some have fallen asleep. After that, he appeared to James, then to all the apostles. Last of all, as to one born abnormally, he appeared to me. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Their message goes out through all the earth. Their message goes out through all the earth. The heavens declare the glory of God, and the firmament proclaims his handiwork. Day pours out the word to day, and night to night imparts knowledge. Their message goes out through all the earth. Not a word nor a discourse, whose voice is not heard. Through all the earth their voice resounds, and to the ends of the world 
their message. Their message goes out through all the earth. Please stand. I am the way, the truth, and the life, says the Lord. Philip, whoever has seen me has seen the Father. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to Thomas, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to me, to the Father, except through me. If you know me, then you will also know my Father. From now on, you do know him, and have seen him. Philip said to him, Master, show us the Father, and that will be enough for us. Jesus said to him, Have I been with you for so long a time, and you still do not know me, Philip? Whoever has seen me has seen the Father. How can you say, Show us the Father? Do you not believe that I am in the Father, and the Father is in me? The words that I speak to you, I do not speak on my own. The Father who dwells in me is doing his works. Believe me that I am in the Father, and the Father is in me, or else believe because of the works themselves. Amen, amen, I say to you, whoever believes in me will do the works that I do and will do greater ones than this, because I am going to the Father. And whatever you ask in my name, I will do, so that the Father may be glorified in the Son. If you ask anything of me in my name, I will do it. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Have I been with you for so long a time and you still do not know me, Philip? My dear brothers and sisters, I invite you this morning to reflect on this sentence, the response of Jesus to the request of Philip. Show us the Father. The simple answer of the Lord is, You see me, you see the Father. But I would like us also to focus on the two parts of the sentence. Have I been with you for so long? I wonder how many of us no, would qualify no, to be told by the Lord, have I been with you for so long a time? Ang tagal nyo na akong kasama. Ilan kaya sa atin dito ang pwedeng pagsabihan ng Panginoon? Ang tagal nyo na akong kasama. Kasama nyo ko sa inyong paglalakbay. Kasama nyo ako sa inyong pagbabasa ng Biblia. Kasama nyo ako sa inyong pagdarasal. Kasama nyo ako sa inyong Pagsisimba, kasama niyo ako sa hirap at ginawa. Kasama niyo ako sa tagumpay at kabiguan. I have been with you. How many of us would have that privilege to be told, 
I have been with you. Are we aware that God, that the Lord has been with us all along? Or we might be like the two disciples on the road to Amos. They have been traveling back home and Jesus was with them, accompanying them, and they did not recognize the Lord. Kasakasama niyo ako ng matagal na. Are we aware of that? Kasakasama natin ang Panginoon. Pero aminin natin, totoo din yung pangalawa na bahagi ng pangungusap ni Jesus, Still, you do not know me. Kasakasama niyo ako, pero hindi niyo pa ako nakikilala ng ganap. Ako po ay 37 years ng pari. This year, magiging 38. And I can say that there is so much that we, I, I need to learn about the Lord. Ang dami ko pang hindi alam tungkol sa Kanya. Hindi ko pa siya ganap na nakikilala. At palagay ko, mamamatay akong hindi ko ganap na makikilala si Jesus. Pero sana, kahit kayo, sa pagdaan ng panahon, ay mas lalo nating nakikilala ang Panginoon. Mas lalong na lumalalim ang kaalaman natin tungkol sa Diyos. At mangyayari lang po yan, no? kung nagbabasa tayo tungkol sa buhay ni Jesus, binubuklat natin ang ating banal na Biblia, Nagdadasal tayo at nakikipag-usap sa Panginoon. Ganun, ganun naman eh, di ba? How do we know the person? By being with that person. Kaya nga po yung mga mag-asawa, no? sa, kayo, sa inyo na mga mag-asawa, lalo na yung matagal ng sasama, umabot ng 25 years, 50 years, hindi ba alam nyo na ang isa't isa? Sabi nga eh, you can finish the sentence of one another. Tingin lang, nagkakaintindihan. Alam na ng lalaki kung anong ayaw ng babae. Alam na ng babae kung anong gusto ng lalaki. Hindi na tinatanong anong gusto mong ulam. Alam na. Bakit? Kasi magkasama na sila ng mahabang panahon. Kilala na nila ang isa't isa. Ganyan din po tayo kay Jesus. If we want to know Jesus more, we have to be with Jesus. We have to be intimate with Jesus. Know thy Lord. And knowing thy Lord, the Lord, we will always be, will have to be with Jesus. Hilingin natin ang panalangin ni San Felipe at Santiago na sana katulad nila ay makilala natin higit ang Panginoon. Kasi sa totoo lang, mahirap sundan, mahirap mahalin ang hindi natin nakikilala. Mahirap sundan ang Panginoon kung hindi natin siya nakikilala. Know thy Lord. Amen. We stand. Let us pray for the needs of the members of the church through the intercession of Saints Philip and James. To every petition, our response would be Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That bishops and priests may fearlessly undertake the task of evangelization, even in most unwelcoming places. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That those who do not know Christ may be led to the light of the gospel by the teachings and examples of Christians. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That we may be witnesses of the gospel 
through our service of neighbor. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That healing may be granted to the sick through our ministry and service. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who diligently toiled in this life may receive their heavenly reward. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Father, your Son reveals your love for us. Aided by the prayers of courageous pastors who care for your people, we bring our petitions before you. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Pray, my dear sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, our loving Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Receive, O Lord, the offerings we bring for the feast day of the apostles Philip and James, and bestow on us religion pure and undefiled. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you, eternal shepherd, do not desert your flock, but through the blessed apostles watch over it and protect it always, so that it may be governed by those you have appointed shepherds to lead it in the name of your Son. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim holy, holy 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 lord god of hosts heaven and earth are full of your glory hosanna in the highest blessed is he who comes in the name of the lord hosanna in the highest please kneel you are indeed holy o lord the fount of all holiness Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. 
For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. We stand. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with St. Joseph, her most chaste spouse, with the blessed apostles, including Philip and James, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Amen. Our Father, who art, who art in, in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our many sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
Please stand. Let us pray. Purify our minds, we pray, O Lord, by these holy gifts you have received, so that contemplating you in your Son, together with the Apostles Philip and James, we may be worthy to possess eternal life through Christ our Lord. Amen. My dear sisters and brothers, today is Wednesday once more, and uh, every week we pray the rosary for the healing of the world. And tonight, our host would be the fathers and seminarians of Our Lady of Guadalupe High School Seminary in Makati. At 9 o'clock, they will lead us in the praying of the Holy Rosary. Please join us on our Cathedral uh, Facebook page no, at, uh, so that we can continue praying for the healing of the world. And maybe you are aware that uh, the number of cases uh, is increasing so still get vaccinated get the booster and protect yourself no uh, the the pandemic is not over yet not over so we we continue protecting ourselves just as we continue praying for the healing also I would like to take this opportunity to thank Cardinal Advincula for sending us the new vice rector in the person of Father uh, Vicente Gabriel Bautista, Father Biel. So he was appointed uh, vice rector effective May 31. Uh, but he will not be coming over yet no, because he's still in the high, high school seminary uh, teaching and forming uh, seminarians. Uh, maybe June 1 or around that day, uh, around that uh, date, no, he will be coming over. And I would like also to take this opportunity to thank Father Kali and Father Bong, who have been with us for, for quite some time. They are not leaving yet, okay? So don't panic, no? Don't panic. Wag muna kayo maging anxious. They are still with us, Father Bong and Father Kali, until maybe end of June or early part of July. Uh, from then, they will go to Rome no, to study uh, the, for further studies. Let us pray also for the two of them that uh, in this new, new challenge in their priestly life, they may always be found uh, strong. Sana makabalik sila dito ng nakatapos. No? So, ipagdasal po natin si Father Bong at Kali and i-welcome din natin si Father Biel dito sa ating community. So, we thank Cardinal Advincula for this gift. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. Mm -hmm.